All right, guys, so once you're in After Effects, we're about to get right into it. As you can see, I got my clip right here ready and ready to go. Now, before we get into this video, if you don't have enough time and you don't want to do that and you're lazy, I say go get my preset pack down below before you say that. You're like, I don't want to pay for it. I'm going to leave a free link to my preset pack down below. A free link, all right? That's all you got to do is free. Once you get the free link to my preset pack, I want to leave you one of these. But if you want the whole pack, you could buy the whole pack. It's, you see everything I got in here and it's a bunch of stuff. But let's just say you want this Lena pack. Oh, it's, it's just easy, y'all. We did that in two seconds. I'm going to leave a free one down below. So go get that if you don't feel like waiting, all right? But if you don't want to pay and I understand, whatever the case may be, I'm about to try to do it. The first step we're going to do is click new adjustment layer. Excuse me. Before we even get to the adjustment layer, go on your clip or the tracker and click track camera. Now, all this is going to do is track our 3D object to the scene. Now, this specific scene doesn't need that much tracking. Why? Because it's just like a tripod shot. It's a steel frame, so it doesn't need that much. But over here in the top left, as I can see, it's rendering out. It's just getting our clips for us, uh, our scenes for us. After that, I'm gonna click Advanced. Now, this is mostly a flat scene. So I'm gonna click right here, mostly flat scene. As I can see, no, no points is popping up facing us. They're more so like just around. Now, if I turn these target points up and this up, you see how we got circles back here, that's what we want. So we're gonna select them, right click, create solid in camera. Now, if I play this through, you see how the solid is tracked to it. It's gonna be easy for this scene just because it's a still shot. It's not too much going on. All right, so we can uncheck both of those right now. We just have our clip right now. And then as on our adjustment layer, we can turn that one back on. I'm gonna go ahead and grab element. Element right here, we're gonna drag that onto our clip. Once you do that on our clip, we're gonna click scene setup. Now, once again, if you wanna do it this way, I'll leave a free link to a 3D cup, all right? I'm, I'm looking out for y'all right now because ain't nobody look out for me. Going to my downloads, lean cup is gonna be an OBJ. Okay, once you click okay, we're gonna click normalize size. There go your cup. Now you see there's nothing in there. We're just gonna go to color, whatever you like. What color you like your lean? Pink, that's too pink. Let's do, how do I know that? I don't know, hey, don't look at me. We'll click okay. We'll unclick this button. Now, as you can see, our cup is in our scene. Bam, it's that easy, y'all. Now pay attention, this will get good. I'm gonna go to group one, particle replicator. How many cups you want in here? I'm asking you. Okay, that's a good number right there, 25. See where it say point, sphere. We're gonna make this a crazy looking vortex, okay? So we're gonna just upgrade the shape scale, lower the Z position, upgrade the shape scale. Okay, the Z position a little too lower. Let's just do 15 cups, cause God damn, that's a lot of cups. All right, here we go. Just like that, scale them right in front of him, all right? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let me just show you something. You see this right here? Oh, I'm sorry, that was the wrong thing. Let's go to, once we're done with that, go to rotation. You see this middle one, Y? See this vortex? That's what we wanna work with, okay? This is, the, this, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna click Y, go to our end of our clip, and just scale it. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. I'm gonna go over here, clip, ro dang, rotation, come to the end, and then scale that up. Not scale, but rotate it. Here we go. Oh, you see how it's not tracked? I forgot to track it to our scene. We just gotta press this. Now that clip is gonna just be tracked, all right? All right. Now, as you can see, it's just spinning. Uh, some cups not going behind, they all look the same. We're gonna work on that too. All right, so to randomize the cup, we're gonna go ahead and close the particle replicator. Go to particle look, particle rotation, I think. Let me see. Yep, that's it. I'm gonna click right here, then go to the end, and we could just up this. Just so the cups can be doing different things. And if we don't even want them to start like that, they can start. And if we play that through, now we got cups spinning, doing all kinds of stuff. But now some cups not in the front, some cups not in the back. So we about to fix that problem too. See this layer right here? What we're gonna do is go down to output. Once we're on output, you see where it say composite, Z depth, no AA. I pull up, what is that? Just trust me. All right. So once we're in here, Y'all see this right here? Now, if I scale this up, let me explain to y'all what this is. So the cups in the back, that's light, we don't wanna see those cups. We don't wanna see the cups in the back. So if I was to play this through, the only cups you will be seeing is the ones in the front. That's the only cups we wanna see is the ones in the front. 
So we want to make it to where the only ones we see is the dark ones in the front. So if I play this through, that's good, just like that. All right, maybe it may be. Yeah, that should be good. Just like that. So we now this is how we want it. Now we want to do is duplicate this layer, the same element layer. Wait, I'm sorry. Duplicate this layer. We got two layers. On the bottom one, we're going to take off and turn that to composite. Top one, we're going to keep that on there and just bring that up. Now we can turn off the eye for now. Now if we just play this through, we'll just have something like this. Okay. Now you want to go to toggles and switches. Our um. Before we do that though, I'm sorry, before we do move on, we got to rotoscope out this subject. We're going to duplicate our layer. Click here. Okay, our layer. Now we're just gonna, all we're doing is just cropping him out so the cups can go behind him. That's all we're doing. Uh, it's not the best. Not the best, but it's working. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, so once this is finished, we can move on to our next step. We're done. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. All right, there we go. Now that we're done, now that we're done, we can go ahead and take this layer and put this above that first adjustment layer. Now if I turn this adjustment layer on, now the, 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 the cone scene that we just did, you see this right here? Track this to, to this adjustment layer. Click this right here. And we go back to composition, as you can see, Voila, we have cups going behind him, cups going in front of him. If you want to track this scene a little bit better, but you see how some of these cups are, you would still see through his body. We can easily fix that. Let me show you how we can do that. I don't know, let's just render out. I just want y'all to see how it is. As I can see, we pretty much got it. We pretty much got it. But as you can see, some of these cups are still floating behind him. We don't want that. So what we would do is we'll just come here back to the Z depth and just try to fix it. So if we was there. Scale, hold on. Just like this. Now it'd be now it's perfect. Now it's perfect. And there you go. That's pretty much the effect. We can add on certain certain stuff like blurs. We add on a blur, certain stuff like that. But I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all.